Hey, I am Chanel Yarber, and I am the brains and beauty behind Bright Girl Media. My goal is to empower women entrepreneurs with the tools and strategies they need to effectively market their businesses online. Hey, it's Chanel at Bright Girl Media here, and in this video, I am answering some user-submitted questions so that you can ask me anything. So let's hop right on in. So where am I from? I am from Hammond, Indiana, and I am so proud of Hammond. Um, <laughs> so Hammond is sandwiched between Chicago, Illinois and Gary, Indiana. It is on Interstate 80 and 94. And so, um, you know, we call Indiana the crossroads of America. We're right there on the tip of Lake Michigan. And so uh, growing up in Hammond, it was, it was some good times, good, good times, fun times. Um, cold winters and fun summers is what I like to say. Dang, I got so many. So one of my favorite projects that I worked on. Wow. I'm going to have to say when I uh, first started out my career, I was a production assistant with the Potter's House of Dallas and T.D. Jakes Ministries. And one of my f favorite projects there um, cause that's the first thing that came to mind was when I was able to help film, uh, the first mega fest. And so if you're not familiar with mega fest, it is a Christian, uh, convention, if you will. And it's so many people from all over the place come together and converge into one space over the course of a week. And so I was able to interview people, um, shoot B roll and all types of just fun stuff. I am a media girl at heart. So that just kind of like. It just really gave me a lot of energy and a lot of fun. Good experience. Oh, so I, I love to read. OK, something that you did not ask me, but that I'm going to tell you because I'm just so proud of it is the fact that I was a reader at the age two and a half. So um, I have always loved books. I have always loved to read. And so a book that I read every single year other than the Bible is Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. And that book is so phenomenal. It helps to keep my mind on track, helps me to stay focused on the goal at hand and not to you know, allow the negative thoughts and the devil to win. So I highly recommend Outwitting the Devil. Special talents outside of my career um, is cooking. <laughs> I love to cook. I love to cook. I, it's just, I don't know what it is when I'm cooking. Honestly, though, um, it reminds me of my grandmother. I think that's why I like it so much because she always cooked every single day. She cooked a meal. The only day she didn't cook was on Saturdays and we would go to like Burger King or something. And that was like a treat. So every day she would cook and I just love getting in the kitchen, just banging some pots and pans together. I'll turn on my music. I'll have my chopping boards and my knives going and everything. And it's just relaxing to me. So where most women or most people don't like to cook, they'd rather just go pick something up. I just love to get my hands dirty in the kitchen. My favorite meal to cook um, is definitely not meatloaf. So my family likes my lasagna. They like my macaroni and cheese. I'll, I'll say what people like for me. Um, my lasagna, my mac and cheese. I could fry some chicken. Ooh, I could fry some chicken so good. I like my ravioli. I love to cook some uh, spinach stuffed ravioli. <sighs> I sound like a fat person now. What else? Breakfast is always favorite for me. I love flipping pancakes. So I don't know. I just like to cook. Oh my God. If I could be anywhere in the world right now to escape COVID, I would probably either be in Costa Rica or New Zealand. And the reason is because one, they don't have that many <laughs> COVID cases, if any. I've always wanted to go to Costa Rica. That is like my number one place that I wanna go once all of this stuff is over with. Um, and I just, I just wanna be with nature and trees and fresh air and just open sunlight. So it would be one of those two places. So surprisingly, I have traveled out of the country one time. 
I'm about to tell y'all something that most people don't know. Um, I went out of the country to go to Canada as a kid. So that's the only time out of the country. So I haven't been out off of this actual continent. Let's say that. Um, but I have had numerous opportunities to have paid trips to Africa and I did not take them. Now, y'all are probably looking at me like, what the hell? Why would you not go? Okay. <laughs> And the honest to God truth is fear. And so I was young, I had these opportunities and they started talking about, I had to take all these shots and do all this stuff. And I was just like, mm, it ain't looking too good for your girl. So um, I look forward to traveling. Now that I've been in the house during COVID, I wanna go everywhere. I don't, take me to Antarctica, take me to Greenland. I don't care where you wanna take me, get me up out of here. So if somebody wanna pay for me to go to Africa, Call me because I'll go this time. I promise you I will. <laughs> I'm a young woman coming up doing what I want to do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so if I were um, to give advice, and this is a great question. Um, if I were to give advice to a young woman coming up to do what I'm doing, it's a great question because I have someone who is coming up behind me, actually my cousin who, um, it's so crazy and so so just funny to me that we're so much alike as far as career paths and the things that we're interested in. And so I've been somewhat mentoring her, but she also works. She's She works with me. She's one of the bright girls on the team. Um, and so I wanna give this advice to her. And the advice really is to lean in and don't let up. Lean in and don't let up, okay? Learn all that you can be inspired by all that you're inspired by and don't allow fear to rob you of who you know you are and what you know you can do. So if an opportunity is presented to you, just like I just mentioned about the whole Africa thing, don't pass that up. I don't know what, how that would have changed my life to be able to go to these different countries. I don't know what I would have seen or who I would have met. I might be married by now or something. You never know, you know? So seize the moment, seize the opportunities and Get in line with somebody that you can trust, get you a mentor, somebody that really cares about your well-being and follow the leader because you don't have to make all the same mistakes that we've all made. You can learn from our mistakes, you can jump some hurdles and you can get so much farther so much faster just by hitching your wagon to somebody else. So that's my advice. If you have any more questions that you'd like to ask me, I would love to be able to answer them in another video. Go ahead and I want you to submit them in the comments so that I can address your questions in the future. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to smack the bell button so that you get notifications every time a new video is released from Bright Girl Media. Until next time.